Oh shit, look at your boy over here playing nigga instinct. I mean killer instinct. I mean, oh shit, I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna get so many dislikes for this and it's all good because there was so much hating in motherfucking 2013. So much goddamn hate. When you went to work, they hated on you because you was doing your job and they wanted to chill and you was fucking up they shit. Then when you clocked out, you went to the wash house to go wash your clothes. And little Susie over there in the corner hating on you because you have an item of clothing that she wanted so bad. And she's so jealous. So she hating on you now. She about to throw some bleach in your motherfucking washing machine. And, yo, you take out all the bleach clothes and you fucking pissed off and mad. Then you go home and the neighbors is hating on you because the day before you mowed your lawn. And each blade of grass is even and pristine and they're hating on you because you making their lawn look like shit and your shit is looking on fire and good and shit and now everybody in the neighborhood is mowing their lawns it's like a trickle down effect to hate and one upsmanship but i figured i would throw some funny shit in there because i really wanted to talk to you guys about some heartfelt shit that has been going on with me and yes the new year's is here and 2014 is literally hours away and much love to everybody that is in my camp and much love to everybody that I talk to on a daily basis on Twitter and YouTube and you guys are amazing but I figured I would get into this story about how my grandmother got sick and it is a far out story and I figured I would just share this story with you just so that you guys have a little idea of who I am and what I'm about and why youtube is such a really awesome hobby for me and it's a vent to just get out some of the stress and frustrations that go on in my daily life because no one's life is perfect and no one can say that they're humdrum every day yo you, you go through shit and that is just how that goes and you know it all started back in 2009 and me and my uh ex-girlfriend at the time we were going to move to arizona and there were just like odd things going on around my grandmother's house at the time like I rarely ever saw her and it's one of those things where when you live in the same house with somebody you see them every day and I, I just stopped seeing her I stopped hearing from her I stopped hearing movements around the house because we got hardwood floors and stuff and it, it was very odd and she had a boyfriend after my grandfather passed away she met this guy about four and a half years later because you know she was with my grandfather for literally 32 years and she mourned for about four and a half years five years and she met this guy and you know he seemed cool at first but little by little i started to notice some weird ongoings about this dude but i kept it to myself and my mom started to notice and my sister started to notice and it was one of those things where we were living here until we were going to move and then all of a sudden bam she gets multiple strokes and then we don't know that she had these strokes until like four to five days later it, it, it was pretty crazy and this guy he's like going around riding around in her cars and stuff she had about four cars and spending up all her money while she's in almost a comatose state he let her lay in her her bed for like at least a week until we figured it out because the doctor called and he said that if you don't bring her to the hospital we will call the police and that i think changed everything because i i woke up that morning and i was getting ready to go to work and then i heard that I, I, and i was like what the fuck what was going on and you know me and my grandmother weren't really talking at the time so you know i was pretty much going to work and then coming home and, and getting sleep that, that's pretty much all i did and and she's diabetic so I, me in my mind i'm thinking that maybe it, she's just going through a uh a a, a diabetic state where you know it, she she'll like go into that like comatose state and i'm thinking that it's just about that and we were going to take her to the hospital and then everything's going to be okay from then and there on but it, it's weird because we took her to the hospital and then they started uh running tests on her and stuff like that and then i said okay i'm just gonna go to work and then 
I'll come back and I'll figure everything out, right? So the doctor calls me halfway through work and then he says, um, does your grandmother suffer through mental illness? Does she, you know, have a, a, a certain mental disability? And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I don't understand this. Like, I mean, literally two weeks before I was sitting here talking to her and we had an argument like, you know, she was fine. She was perfect. And it, it didn't dawn on me until I got off of work and then I went to the hospital and she's laying there in bed and she's looking at me and I'm like, hey, hey, you back, huh? And she looks at me and she doesn't say anything. And then she starts talking about invisible things like on the walls and shit. So at this point, I'm, 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 I'm enraged. I'm pissed off and I'm crying and I'm in tears. Like, you know, it, it like I'm about to tear up right now talking about this shit. And this dude is about to 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 get it. And I rush back home. I, I, I call my girl and I'm like, yo, yo, I'm about to kill this nigga right now. I'm going home right now to go kill him right now. He fucked up my shit and he fucked up. He fucked with my family. So I'm going home. I'm going home and I rush home. And I, 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 I didn't even put the key in the door. I broke the door down. Like, I kicked the door down. The first door I kicked down. Second door to go into the living room, I kicked down. He barricaded himself into my grandmother's room and called the police. And then when the police gets here, they tell us that he has the right to live here. And so I had no choice like my sister at the time wasn't talking to my grandmother so I called her I called my mom I told them what's going on and we band together as a family to to you know help my grandmother and we evicted this guy but the day of the eviction and it's pretty fucked up you know he he cut it he cut his throat and tried to kill himself in my house and before he tried to do that he 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 tussled with me for a minute and you know obviously i got the better of him and after that he like rolled down and he pulled the knife out and he put the knife to his neck and he said yeah i'm gonna kill myself right here right now and i said do it man go ahead and do it and at this time like i'm just like i'm over it just do just kill yourself and he actually tried to kill himself and I, I don't know if to this day if he you know actually you know died but every night you know i always tell like you know like matt always wonders like yo why you never why you always like you know that type of guy who's just always up late at night for no reason and that is always the reason why because I always feel deep down in my heart that if he's alive, you know, he'll 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 try to come back and he'll try to do something to me and my family. But as of right now, um, my grandmother, you know, she's healthy. You know, the mental stability is still is not there and it's not going to be there. She has dementia and, you know, it's going to get worse. And ultimately, it, it will lead to her passing and. I still haven't come to terms with that and it, it hurts deeply inside to even think about it because even though she's a little crazy, you know, I love her to death and that is what I want to just, you know, project to you guys that, you know, family is important to me. Family is everything to me. I, I, I view family as the most important thing in my life and for people that are on youtube that i you know i consider family yo much love to all you guys man and i appreciate all the love and support you give and you know sometimes i can't get to videos or whatnot but hey it is what it is you know i i have a lot to deal with in my my daily life taking care of my grandmother and taking care of this house that i had to take over and you know me and my sister are you know trying to you know come to terms with a lot of things that are going on and we we try our best and my mom also she tries her best to you know help and and do what she has to do but she has three kids so you know my my, my younger uh siblings and then my niece so it it, it, it it's pretty it's pretty hectic around the woods family and you know this youtube thing here man i i love this thing and i thank my brother 
from the bottom of my heart for you know just getting me into this because it opened up a, a hobby to just relieve stress and and to make me feel better you know at the end of the day by you know making videos that people can listen to and just to to give myself a a <laughs> reprieve you know take a deep breath edit a damn video put a video out play some call of duty <laughs> amnesia you know shit like this and it's love right there man so yo thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for just staying tuned and 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 just listening to me just babble on but yo this is my life and this is some of the shit that goes down in my life and that's pretty much it man i hope you guys have a happy new years and, and be safe out there don't just go around and do some dumb shit man like think before you do shit and you know don't get too drunk man you want to have good memories on the new year you don't want to be wasted and, and, and feel fucked up the next day yo and wake up like four o'clock in the afternoon and shit yo just you know be safe guys but this your boy fresh and this is a unedited raw motherfucking commentary and hope you guys like that killer instinct shit man it's just pretty dope man it's got some fun factor to it so yo this your boy fresh and i'm out peace